All right, so let's take a look at the application that we've deployed here at Middle Tennessee. I'm um, using an iPad, uh, iOS. Of course, you could use uh, Android or Windows uh, just as easily, depending on the application that you're using. And the key about using ArcGIS Online for this deployment was that we could actually expose that same web map to any number of different Esri out-of-the-box applications. So, For example, if we go into the standard Esri uh, application, the, the green app as it, it's called internally. Uh, I can just browse in here and into my groups here and I can go through my groups. I can see the uh, MT, EMC transformer load group and get to the map that way and load it here uh, within the map. Uh, alternatively, uh, our group often prefers to use a collector for ArcGIS and a collector is a little bit different in that we have to expose at least one editable layer uh, within the web map, uh, but we've done that with kind of a dummy layer to, to just get this map uh, to show up uh, since it is read only. Uh, but you can see that it's available here. I'll load that same production transformer loading map. You can see that map comes up very much in the same way. So within this map, we've actually exposed our ArcFM stored displays from the back office. Uh, all that data translated very nicely. So that was sort of the first step of being able to expose the data out. Uh, one of the other key things that we wanted to do was to enable easy searching uh, for our field crews. Uh, so by simply clicking the search, uh, we've enabled it here so that we can search on various asset numbers. We, we actually index about uh, 25 uh, of our feature classes on the back end uh, every week or so uh, and ex expose those. So we can search on a given asset number and click search and you can find those various numbers such as the light company number or transformer company number. You can see those are in different areas of the service territory. Uh, but it's a really easy way to, uh, to get to those locations on the map. Uh, within that, we can then, of course, go uh, and add to your places or get directions to that location uh, by simply using the out-of-the-box app, and or it could transition into the Navigator application from Esri. Uh, either way. Uh, so one of the key things we can do here, let's go ahead and just search in on a uh, Franklin substation here, and we'll go ahead and zoom in a bit so we can see that better. So here at this Franklin Rural substation, uh, this is just an area where I know there's a transformer that would be of, uh, of, of interest to us. I'll go ahead and just zoom a little bit to the north side there. And what we can see as this data comes in is that in addition to all of our base uh, data behind the, uh, from the ArcFM store display, we're also seeing color-coded uh, thematic mapping here uh, that shows the transformer uh, loads by phase. And that was one of the key things, as we mentioned, was to do it by phase. So one of the things we can tell directly here uh, is how the transformer is loaded. So we developed those, uh, those thematic map qualities that based on the loading percentage, uh, we can tell uh, how heavily loaded a transformer is. Uh, the users in the field, of course, can then click on any of these individual readings to get the detail for it. So we can see at this particular one here that the, uh, the A phase transformer number of 61449 uh, is loaded at 9.78%, very low uh, load there on that transformer. And if we scroll through the details here, uh, the all-time max load was achieved there in 2015 of summer, uh, and really nothing to worry about on that one. So if we were to replace this A phase, uh, we would definitely not worry about uh, upsizing it or t making any uh, decisions based on it. However, let's zoom over to this other uh, transformer here. This is an interesting one because it's a three-phase overhead, and as you can see, all three phases are represented individually with the different colors. So in this case, if we were replacing the B phase, uh, that transformer uh, would not be an issue as it's only loaded here at 42.61%. However, A or C might be a different case. So if we take a look at the details from one of those, you can see that the C phase is loaded at 213%. And if we go through the detail here, the most recent winter load there at 199%, most recent summer 160 the all-time max load was 213. So it wasn't last winter, but the winter before. So the point is this transformer is pretty heavily loaded, and if this thing blew out, we would likely want to go ahead and replace it. Same thing over here on transformer A. You can see that that is also 213% loaded. So uh, the ability to get this detail out to the field crews very easily, uh, and of course I searched on the area, but of course uh, they could use the GPS as they rolled up on scene. Uh, that was really key uh, to exposing this information. So that's just a really quick demo here uh, of using the application. Again, it's a targeted uh, web application that can be put into the hands of uh, any field user who can locate themselves using GPS and then bring up the transformer information of those specific transformers.